Shogunyan is a win attributed legendary yokai of the Brave tribe. Having a base design pretty much the same as Jibanyan, he is considered as Jibanyan turned legendary warrior by the yokai medallion. Shogunyan, unlike Jibanyan, is dignified. He speaks in an old dialect that ends sentences with de gozaru. And instead of red, he's a blue cat with a white face and big black eyes. He has a big samurai hat on its head with a big gold crescent moon on the center along with a full suit of samurai armor. His name is basically the word shogun combined with nian, which is the sound a cat makes. Shogun literally means general or military commander. And during the period of 1192 to 1867, the shogun was the hereditary military dictator in Japan. They were essentially the ruler of the country. Though appointed by the emperor, they hold the most power because they controlled the military. The title shogun was a short form of sei taishogun, which literally means commander in chief of the expeditionary force against barbarians. Quite the mouthful. And that's why they shortened it to shogun. A shogun's office or administration is called shogunate or bakfu, which was a private government that carried out administrative duties while the imperial court of the king didn't have the power to do anything. The shogun dictated orders to everyone including the emperor of their time. The weird part about Shogunyun's helmet is that the crescent moon helmet actually didn't belong to a shogun. It belonged to a samurai by the name of Date Masamune. He was the person who many consider to be the founder of modern day city, Sendai. An outstanding tactician, he was made all the more famous for his missing eye. He was often called Dokugan Ryu, which translates to One-Eyed Dragon. He was a legendary warrior and a leader. As a child, he lost the sight of his right eye, though unclear exactly how, some say he plucked it out himself. Others say he had his trusted retainer, Katakura Kokuro, gouge it out for him. He assisted the Shogun in many wars, and his army was recognized for its black armor and golden headgear. So where does that leave Shogunyan's blue armor? Interestingly enough, the Shinsengumi, a special police force organized by the Bakufu in 1864, which was way past Date Masamune's time, their main uniform was in the color of blue in the form of a Hayori. They were a controversial group that was founded to protect the shogunate's representatives in Kyoto at a time of civil distress. In popular culture, the Shinsengumi are celebrated as brave and determined heroes, but historians describe them as a ruthless murder squad. A special distinction between this group and previous groups of samurai before was that they allowed those from non-samurai classes, such as farmers and merchants, to join. In the past, you couldn't just sign up to be a samurai. You had to be born in the social class to be eligible. In anime, several depictions of Shinsengumi are especially popular, such as the one in Gintama, which they are all portrayed as heroes. But back to Shogunyan. Shogunyan's design is a mix of Shogun's bloody history and Samurai's complex struggles throughout the ages. What do you think of Shogunyan? Learn a bit more about Shoguns today? Let us know in the comments below. And if there are other yokai or characters from other series you would like to see on Tokyosaurus, let us know in the comments below as well. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you can get our latest videos right away. And thus, click over there for more videos. Change their mind. The symbols of the arrow and torch is because love wounds and inflames the heart. You'll also sometimes see the cupid depicted as blindfolded or described as blind. But that's not so much in the sense that he is sightless, but more so to the fact that we are sometimes blinded by love, as if someone put a blindfold on us and we may